Hello everyone, welcome to SQL problem solving series. So we have a new problem here. So problem says query the name of any student in the student who have scored higher than 75 marks and order your output by the last three characters of each name. If two or more students both have names ending in the same last three characters, for example, these two names, the last three characters are exactly the same B, B, Y. So in that cases, we need to sort them by ascending ID. So you can see the table here, the students table here. So the three columns are present here, ID, name and marks. So I've done a simple select star. So you can see the very first column is the ID, the second column is the name and the third column is the marks. So the very first condition which we can see here is we need to get all the students who have scored greater than 75 marks. So we'll be using the where clause here. And using the where clause, we'll be filtering out all the students whose marks is greater than 75. Also, we do not require all the columns which we are getting here. We just require the name of the student. So I would be replacing star with a simple name. Let us run this code and see what is the output which we are getting. You can see we have got the student's name. So these students have scored their marks greater than 75. So let us sort the um, this result which we have got. So the very first condition which we have given here is the order your output by the last three characters of each name. So the very first thing which we need to do here is getting the last three characters from each name. So we'll be using the right function here because from the right side of the name we need the last three characters. So inside the right we'll be mentioning the column name and then number of characters which we want so we want last three characters so by this we'll be getting the last three characters and we'll be using the order by clause here and we'll be telling order by this thing and into the ascending order so let us run the code let's see what is the output okay so one more condition is there you can see if two or more students have both their names ending in the same last three characters we need to sort them in the id so you can see the very first column is the id of the students so we need to sort another thing so we need to mention here id also and then we'll hit the run code button again and let's see what is the output which we are getting right now so you can see we have got the correct output and our result is absolutely correct so friends i hope you like this particular video if you found this video useful do like this video and subscribe to my channel to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye